Hello guys, my name is Fox and welcome to part 40 of our Shear Tribe campaign in Crusader Kings 2. Let's continue. So, in the previous episode, we've started a war with Abyssinia. The only real CP we had on them is a whole war for this one province and I decided that it's not going to be a terrible decision to declare because uh, he's actually a Maiaphysite, so no one really going to help him. And yeah, it's going to be a pretty easy war. What's happening? Where are you getting all this freaking respect from? Stop investing into campaign fund, you son of a bastard. Uh, let's go and invest some extra money just so we're not gonna lose the election in case of emergency. How much we already spent in here? Almost a thousand ducats, goddammit. Okay. Upgrades going on. Medina upgrading. And I guess we're gonna wait on some extra money before upgrading anything else. Uh, okay. Because they're in revolt finished. I'm happy for you. Actually, I think we're not gonna, not gonna lose too much speed if we were to. Yeah, if we were to split the armies and actually start sieging two provinces at the same time, it's probably gonna be more profitable this way. Who the heck are you? Sally hit revolt. Oh, now you have a revolt in here. Oh, I would really be happy to get a freaking alliance with Umayyads. But apparently, they're too far away for me to interact with. And Salahid is not. If they only were to like move their capital somewhere around here, it would be really helpful. But I don't think they... Oh, Jezebel is pregnant. The witch one. Great. Um, I don't think the Umayyads or anyone at all uh, move their capitals that frequently. So the chances of me getting close enough to, the, uh, to them probably not quite high. Okay, you improved relations with Safarids uh, another one time. So they're up to, he's up to 63 now. So let's go and check the marriage possibility again, or the betrothal rather. Opinion still only 4 pluses. Okay, screw you, let's go and start improving this. Uh, mm. Doesn't really make any difference. If they have political concerns, they're not gonna just fade away. Anyone around here, like any horse lords are still available for alliances? Kazaria, all of these guys are like orthodox, so they're not even gonna consider it. Yeah. Actually, yeah, Kazaria is also orthodox, but you're... You're nomad, so you don't really care about the religion of people you marry with. And these guys are too far away. Any chance Indian guy would be willing to get an alliance with me? Oh, you're too far away. I <laughs> Seriously? How is it too far away? It's like bullshit to me. What about you? You're not too far away, okay. But you don't have any freaking children or siblings or not. Married, what's wrong with you guys? Hmm, okay, screw you. I... <laughs> I'm gonna be fine by myself, pretty sure. Palace has been built in Ukherit. And this guy called me in again. Okay, so Palace is actually our... Yeah, our personal holding. And now we have free extra trade posts available. That's awesome. Let's go and spend some extra money on trade post building. This thing unfortunately still unavailable. You're still not dead, but you still have no children. So if you were to die, I'm gonna inherit your holdings. Unfortunately, no one's still willing to join. So I think, I think, I'm just gonna go and build a trade post in Baida. Mm -hmm. And the next one, should we start building something on the next, or on the... On this shore? I think this one not gonna be a terrible decision, so... Oh, 200 ducats, my goodness. Yeah, let's go and build this one. And... Another one? Kathiri, maybe? I don't have enough money for that, so... I really want to get Aiden. If we're gonna receive another one freaking trade post on the Silk Road, we're gonna be... Even richer, I th but because... I think this one trade post actually... Or trade post and the city pro provides like the most income. In our freaking realm. Uh, my daughter requires education. Your strong one. Doesn't really matter. So you're going to be focusing on etiquette. Okay, so one of the sieges is about to be done. We already have 65%. And we're also picking up Tegan War Score, which is great. Some battles also helped a little bit. So how's our income looking right now? 24. Our expenses is 27 because of... Because of why? 10 ducats only on army? I think we're spending a lot of stuff on like uh, family spendings or something because the Republic has this stuff. Yeah, family dues. So 
So the more the more children we have, the more uh, the more trade posts we could build. But the more children we have, the more uh, money we need to spend on them. So that's like two two sides of the coin or whatever the saying could be. So Jerry, Jerry, how much you gave me? Two point seven war score. My goodness, that's extremely terrible. Uh, hmm. Okay, we need a new commander. It's gonna apply one. Or a point, rather. Oh, how you managed to sneak a filthy army around me? Hmm. I guess we're gonna... No, let's gonna finish this one siege. And then we're gonna send this army to chase this 900. Because if they were to siege down the war goal, I'm gonna lose a lot of war score and it's gonna be pain in the butt. For sure. But this one city, yeah, this one city is going to be nice. I'm just going to start chasing you. You're going to keep sitting down the capital. Husam is no longer a courtship plane. Okay, I could place another one. No powerful vassals available, but it's fine. Oh, why do you hate me so much? Rival. Oh, I placed my rival onto my court. That's probably not the best idea, but you're going to go and try to convert Hajar. What about these promises? Yeah, they also need to be converted, so I actually should have... Send you probably somewhere on Thais. Could I arrive here quicker than he's gonna resiege? You're only getting 5% uh, percent per month, so that's not that quick. Diligent is a decent, is an uh, awesome trade, so that's cool. And we finished militia training ground in Cuba. It's probably in Mecca, yeah? Um, hmm, let's go and build... Let's go and build a port in here, why not? Tax income is always welcome, more money. Now we're gonna hurt. Okay, we finished the siege of your capital and we actually imprisoned some parts of your court. Oh, it's actually, it's, it's your wife. I don't think she caused any war score. Yeah, but she might be ransomed, I think. Uh, yeah, for 10 ducats. Sure, why not? And we have another one, son. This one is attractive. Are you the son of the witch? Yes, you are. That's cool. I like it. I like sleeping with the witches and being a freaking uh, demon spawn. Okay, more level reinforcements in Mecca. Gonna be useful. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we could reach this place before he's gonna resiege it. And you improve the Russians, we suffer it again. And my first wife, who is strong, is pregnant again. She already gave me four children. Only, unfortunately, one... Or, unfortunately, on one, only one of them is son. But... We still keep trying. Okay, more improved relations with sufferings. Any difference it's gonna make? Not education. Betrothal. So now you have five pluses with opinion and five minuses with political concerns. I don't know. I don't know how to get rid of base reluctance if it's even possible. But if I were to betroth you to like a genius, it should make some difference. He's too young. Look at his freaking stats. He's strong and he's genius. And I'm willing to marry him to, uh, to your filthy daughter. She's probably, like, not even that smart. Oh, well, okay. I'll just continue improving, because we're getting some extra pluses from opinions, so who knows. Maybe if you're gonna get 100 relations with you, it's gonna get better. I doubt it, of course, but... Uh, we could always try. Okay, let's get some leaders on charge in here, just in case. This place is a desert, so not gonna be really that hard to engage and we siege down a city in Abyssinian capital. Maybe we wouldn't even need this engagement to happen. Full moon. The moon has been growing in full during the past couple of nights and with your restless in is growing. You can sense it coming. It is time again. Time to embrace the moon madness. Yeah, I'm still a... <laughs> I'm still a werewolf. You run through the night, seeking prey. You eventually find it and you pound, steering, slashing, gouging, all the while howling like you're a wolf. Then the screaming stops. Blood. Why is not telling that I killed a dog anymore? And I got even more Marshall. My goodness. That's great. Uh, Master and Grants field, uh, finished in Al Lith. In my capital. Let's go start something else. No, actually talking about something else. Oh, our trade post limit dropped to 11. That's unfortunate. But I guess it's gonna be fine. Uh, it still have, it's still like twice or even three times more than any other families having here, which is quite nice. So, yeah, talking about upgrades, I should be upgrading my personal domain more. And I think I'm gonna just focus on palace. 
and palace alone because it's just like the best thing I could have in here. So yeah, let's just go try to uh, get ourselves 700 ducats. Also my freaking uh, ear earring. No, not earrings. What are you talking about? Headphones just fell off. It's freaking. Oh, just. <laughs> I'm not even gonna be complaining about that because uh, it's gonna be dumb. Okay, is this battle gonna give us enough war score to just finish? Okay, suffer it. You're up to a hundred, which is great. And Abbasid's up to a hundred percent war score as well. So let's go and finish this war. Get ourselves a province in here. You're gonna go here because it's probably gonna be closer for you to disband in. And in there, I'll just gonna create a mosque. Or not create a mosque, but create a vassal in the mosque. Is it possible to build a trade post in here? It is. But it's not the part of the silk road or anything, so I could just give it away to some random person right now. So, when mm, not imprisoned, any marriage, not a ruler, my religion, my culture, and out, not a great house. Oh, let's go and try to play someone with like high intrigue, because there is a chance he could become a powerful vassal, and then it's going to be useful to have him on the court. So it's gonna give you Bosasa. You're not a powerful vassal, unfortunately, but maybe you would become one at some point. Uh, okay, let's wait for these guys to arrive home and then we're gonna disband troops using the button. And I think we could actually stay at peace for some time because all the people in our... Uh, all the vassals of ours actually now hate on me a lot for raising troops. Yeah, might be a problem. And I'm torturing another one prisoner for no apparent reason. Oh, we have a faction, independence faction. Really, Baida, what's the heck wrong with you? Baida and Thais willing to become independent. Why do you hate me so much? Oh, because you want to be on the council, but you're dummy. And why I couldn't place you as a court, court mula? It would be really damn helpful. Oh, we now we have two of these guys. Or powerful vassals. Um, any of you have any martial skill? Not really. I think I'm just gonna display. Uh, uh, just gonna replace this girl as one of my powerful vassals. Just so gonna stop being so pissy. Also, suffer it. Let's go check one last time if 100% relations with you changes anything. Too young. What about this one? Too young. What about this one? Not too young, but even 100 relations with you is still not close enough. That sucks a lot, but I think I'm just gonna send our diplomat to improve his abbasids. And let's hope something's gonna change, maybe, at some point. Okay, mm another one children lacks education. My another one daughter. That genius one. Let's go and focus on humility. Getting someone with high diplomacy and genius, not probably not gonna be a terrible idea. Mm, also, Shirazids, now we should have a conquest CP against you. If only we're not gonna have an army in your lands. Actually, excuse me? We can, oh yeah, we have raised slaves. Dorp, I'm just gonna stand them down. We still have some of these event spawn troops, which is quite nice. My kinsman needs education, you're gonna be focusing on... Oh, that really matters. Should I be focused? No, let's not focus all of the children, all of the males on the military. I'm just going to spread it out as well. Because maybe I would want to have someone different as my heir. So, yeah, I definitely do have a conquest on Berbera now. And I also have a Holy War CB, but... Holy War is dangerous because Tulinids are on the border and Tulinids could join. Also, once I managed to get a truce with Amalfi. Tulinid Holy War for Sicily. And Tulin is actually won. Oh, you had Sicily at some point? I don't... Didn't know that. Okay. It's nice that Tulin is actually beat you. Uh, and what is this war about? Attacking Kosal in the Basset Holy War for Baluchistan. Abbasid Holy... What? For Baluchistan. Where is Baluchistan? I have no idea, but it doesn't really matter. Should we just declare war on Shirazid right now? No, actually, we have a lot of problems with this race levy, so let's go and spend a couple of months or years uh, being at peace. Try to get us some extra money, upgrade some extra holdings. Some time ago, a merchant galley working for the Ukrit family brought back several visiting dignities from a distant land 
far to the south it seems, one of them, a woman, has become the target of Moxmar's inf infatuation. After courting her for weeks, she has finally agreed to marry him, take up his fate and settle in Mecca. My nephew. Sure. That's some flavor events. I don't think they... I don't think I've seen them. I, I don't think I've seen them before. Oh, that's kind of nice. So... What else could we do? We could create some dodges, but it's not really gonna happen. Okay, we improved with Umayas once. And we are torturing more people. And we became gluttonous after that. <laughs> okay. I hope we haven't been eating parts of your bodies while torturing, because it might have been... Might could have explained why we became gluttonous after right after that. And actually, we have a truce with this guy only for one extra year. So I might just wait for our truce with... Axum to expire and then declare a war on him right now. And uh, spare Shiraz it for some time. Port has been built in Cuba. That's great. But we're trying to keep some extra money. Oh, could you please stop torturing her? She's already like... Uh, been tortured like three times in a row. Yeah, you only have two prisoners and you... <laughs> you're just having all the fun you can. Oh, it also might be nice to go on like... Uh, on Hatch to Mecca while we're... Uh, not doing much. Let's wait for this war to finish. The war for uh, the Kazarian war. Yeah, I'm just torturing her over and over and over again. And it would be inter interesting to see as well if there's gonna be any interesting events by me going to Mech on Hatch. Consider them a voice of Satan, because I assume the Mech is a holy place, and this guy might have some problem entering it. So. Let's hope this uh, rebellion of Kazeri gonna end relatively soon. And we're gonna be able to go and visit Mecca. Uh, so, how much money we need to upgrade our palace again? 718. So, two extra months should do it. Also, have we finished the trade post in here? We have. Is this thing considered uh, connected to the capital? It definitely is connected to the capital. That's great. What about this one? This, this one as well. Trade zone. 1k... Trade uh, value. That's actually awesome. I don't know what what kind of benefits it gives, but just uh, the number is uh, is enormous because I don't think I have seen such a huge amount of trade trade value in the zone. Even like when playing as Venice, yeah, they have two hundred in this trade zone. Genoa have one hundred, and I managed to bump it to African thousand. That's crazy. The value of all holdings in this trade zone increases the value of trade posts and cities in this trade zone. Oh, so yeah, the more the more uh, trade posts I'm built, building in one uh, place, the more valuable all the other ones get in here. So that's nice. Or oh, that's quite kind of smart to stick them all in one place. Uh, so, an extra children needs education. Uh, this is the daughter who already 12. So, your conscientious, timid, and idolizer. Because of timid and idolizer, you're gonna go for Lord and education. And we have enough money to start upgrading our palace, so let's go and do this. 2000 days, oh my goodness. Should we go and send our steward? Now, minus 40% is not really gonna help that much, and increased, increased income from our province is probably better. Yeah, local tax modifier plus 40, and considering, <laughs> considering how much freaking tax in Mecca right now, 200 tax, it's just crazy. It would be also a pretty nice place for people to loot. But luckily, <laughs> we don't really have any looters around. We're not really anywhere around the Norse people. And Indians I don't think are allowed to loot. So even with all of this loot unprotected in Mecca, no one could really steal it. Which is pretty damn nice. So, uh, truce with Axum. When it's gonna be up? It's gonna be up in July in 58 days, but this war is about to finish, so I think before declaring a war I'm just gonna go and visit uh, Mecca just for fun. And my first wife is pregnant again, the strong one, my goodness. Your fertility is just through the roof. Five children already and you're still not stopping. I like the wives like uh, like you. And we finally starting to make some, uh, some males, so three sons in a row. Once they're gonna come of age, oh, your sickle in looks interesting, like Almost like biohazard uh, sign. Okay, so we finished the war. Or not we, but our ally. Now we should be allowed... Oh, I'm not a commander. Yeah, let's go and 
resign. And let's go and go on hunch. To require me to spend 100 ducats, but it's fine. You have started uh, to prepare yourself for going on pilgrimage to Mecca, and you will humble yourself and travel in groupies, other filthy blah blah blah. Uh, gain some piety. Okay, but actually it's already now from time for me to have a break, guys. So, we're gonna check out if being possessed uh, gonna do anything interesting on our pilgrimage in the next episode. So, if you enjoyed watching this, you could leave a like, if you want to see more, you could subscribe, and if you want to leave a comment, definitely do it, and I would answer as soon as I could. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.